Good morning! Oh, did you miss this terrible quality footage? Well, let me tell you something. I took a day off um, between Sam leaving and today, and I thought it'd be a nice relaxing day, but instead I woke up to a dead car battery. That was number one. And then uh, I found this, uh, I was walking down the street, and I saw this cool van. I went to go take a picture of my camera, and the shutter locked up. So now the Sony's dead. That's a total of three weeks, Sony. Congratulations. So I sent it in last uh, yesterday, like right away, trying to get it back as soon as I can. But I have zero hope that that's going to happen, to be honest. That's the last Sony camera I ever buy, the last Sony product I ever buy. Hold me true to that. I'm not doing it again, no matter how much they tempt me with the specs. It's not worth it if it doesn't work. So uh, last time I sent this camera back, it took them nearly six months to fix it. I don't know what it's gonna to take to get this one back. I hope it's less than that, but like I said, I'm not very optimistic. Just a little bummed. Um, Panasonic's releasing a GH5 in a couple months, and it's got um, sensor stabilization, which is really important to me, and better ISO performance, which is really important to me, so I might be moving over to Panasonic, um, or I might just use this for a bit. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the Nikon. I'm actually, today I'm gonna to go and pick up another lens because I sold all my lenses for the Nikon, but now I need it to take photos. So I'm buying some more lenses again. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I think I think the right now the plan is just to, I'm gonna buy a 50 mil for the Nikon, which is like a hundred bucks, so no big deal. I'm gonna use the Nikon for a bit, try to use it in my videos a bit. Um, at least I still have the drone, still have this camera. And uh, once I get the Sony back, I'll use it for a while, and then I'm probably going to sell it and try and pick up a GH5 or something else if I find something else that really does everything I need it to. This is the thing that sucks the most about it, though, man, because, like, if that Sony was reliable, that'd be the perfect camera because it was just everything I needed. But it doesn't work, so it's useless. If you're thinking of buying a Sony camera, I highly, highly, highly suggest looking elsewhere very unreliable cameras and every sony camera i've bought has broken and i've had to ship it in they're the only cameras i've ever broken too so there you go all right i'm hanging out here with brian brian what's up no i'm talking on the, on the vlog hey we're going to go for a bike ride what are we gonna get uh you know after after morning food that's pre pre-lunch after breakfast it's not really brunch. We're brunching right now. Sarah would be proud. My sister Sarah's always about that brunch game. Yeah, it's like, let's do brunch. Like, okay, Sarah. She's it, coming to Baja with me, by the way. Let's do brunch is coming to Baja is in it, a van. Is it brunch That'll if it's afternoon, though? It's like... Stoner brunch? It's like winter, maybe? I don't know what it is. Okay, well, we're gonna go get some food. <laughs> it's gonna be good. So, hit the bikes, let's go.
stop for today is the shop. Got a cold brew for myself. Flight of beers for these crazy animals. And I'm trying to talk them into come to courtside with me. Should be fun. It's so cool to have a crew here in Phoenix. It's starting to feel more and more like home. I am coming in and out of Phoenix a lot over the next little bit, so I don't know. Like, I just never thought about Phoenix that much before. And now it just has so much meaning to me. And these these people have really made it something special. So I look forward to seeing them again. I'll probably be back in like three weeks. So should be good. But for now, I'm hitting the road. Got to pick up a lens real quick and I got to rush off to Quartzsite and uh, meet up with the other Rubber Tramp Rendezvous folks and some of the viewers from the channel, which is super cool too. So, pack day and I'm off to a slow start. Let's do this. Another nifty 50 again. I got the older version. This is this lens super sharp super nice super fast focusing This is the older version which isn't quite as good as my old one, but still like on this camera it focuses lightning quick 100 bucks can't beat that. I'm such an advocate for the nifty 50. I've even got a tattoo on my arm Love this lens. Okay. Hold on speaking of lenses. It's all mangled. Anyway, uh, off the court site. Let's go quickly Site. More importantly, welcome to the Rubber Tramps Rendezvous. This is a huge event and like Quartzsite is actually really really big with uh, RVers in general, snowbirders, all kinds of types, especially the ones that are willing to do the BLM, which is kind of a cool crowd and it's really cool coming in on the interstate and seeing all those tiny little lights flickering in the desert and those are like thousands and thousands of RVs. It is a lot of people. Anyway, uh, Rubber Tramps Rendezvous is especially important, especially a little special little nugget inside of Quartzsite because it's uh, basically an event for people who live in their RVs. We're gonna get all types of people, very different kind of crowd, and it's kind of cool to see this like, my lifestyle represented across so many different demographics. I am very excited to meet some of these people, and uh, I'm gonna go take a tour around the campsite and uh, just hang out with them. Anyways, that's it for me tonight. Good night.